want to talk about the fact that we have been referring to ice jams and the potential for them out there. And I just want to talk about in particular what happens on the Missisquoi River. This is Swanton right here. So obviously we've got the flow heading toward town here. You've got the rain and the snow melt entering the river and the river level rises. When that happens, you will find that the ice that's out there and there's a lot of it begins to break up and then the chunks start to move downstream. What happens is they come to a bend in the stream or maybe a bridge abutment and it gets hung up. When that happens, it actually, it turns out to be like a dam. It effectively is. Then it backs the water up and you've got some flooding. So obviously uh, watching for this in a number of locations. As a matter of fact, we sent meteorologist Eric Weglars out to Swanton tonight. Swanton uh, is loaded with ice, isn't it, Eric? What are you seeing right now? It is, Tom, and uh, there's a couple of different aspects I want to show you here because it is a very fluid situation. I'm standing on what's arguably a very large chunk of ice that's right alongside the Missisquoi River. I'll show you that the thickness, actually, in some parts of this chunk is about two feet or more. So we're talking about very large chunks of ice. It's not a solid sheet so much as it is a set of ice here, a lot of ice chunks underneath that that have all frozen together. Well, why are we so concerned about that? Well, if you look at the Missisquoi, uh, this ice chunk is on the side, but not all of these chunks are out of the river. So we talk about all these chunks moving downstream over the next couple of hours. That combines with a lot more ice upstream, not as thick as this, but still pretty potent and a lot of rain and snow melt that we've seen over the last couple of hours, that's going to create a very fluid situation here. So we're talking about a lot of this ice that comes into these narrow parts of the river. And what happens is it creates a dam. So the water has nowhere to go. It backs up and unfortunately it floods a lot of these low lying areas here, particularly along Vermont 78 where we are right now. Again, the Missisco is very still right now, but we're expecting again later on tonight. A lot of this ice breaks up and a lot of that snow and rain melt actually pushes it and all of this ice all the way down in these narrow bends in the river. And Tom, as you're well aware, ice jams are very, very difficult to predict. Uh, they may form upstream. A couple hours later, they've broken apart and moved further downstream and they've reformed there and they may hang out longer before they break up and move again. So it's a very fluid situation here and we'll be tracking the latest along the Missisquoi as we head on through the evening hours tonight. Eric, hey, thanks very much. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's not only the Missisquoi where we're watching for the potential of the issues he was just talking about. Also, the Winooski, the Lamoille River, northern New York. We've got ice backed up in places along the Great Chazy, the Au Sable River, the St. Regis River as well. We